In today's artificial intelligence class, we will see the early image processing operations from fourth unit perceptions. Under this topic, we will cover some image processing operations that the edge detection, texture, optical flow, segmentation of images. Image processing operations. Uh, image processing means a method to perform some operations on images. The image may be either analog image or dig digital image. So, from the image, the image processing will be applied to enhance image or extract some useful information from the image. Okay. So, for this purpose, we are using image processing. Here, the input is image okay, and the output may be an enhanced image or the characteristics or features of that image. Okay. So, this is called as image processing. So, here uh, the image processing includes three steps. First one is import the image via image acquisition tools. Okay. First, we have to get the image. This is input. And second one, analyzing and manipulating the image. Right. And third one is the output. Okay. The output in which the result can be altered image or report that based on image analysis. That is the information. Information about the image. Right. There are three useful operations in image processing. First one is edge deduction, texture analysis and computation of optical flow. Okay. These three are basic or low level operations. And here when come to low level operations, uh, these are good candidates for implementation in parallel hardware. Okay. Parallel hardware means GPU that is graphical graphics processor unit, right. When come to mid level operations, these are segmenting the image into regions. Okay. So, this is mid level operation and when come to low level operation, edge deduction, texture analysis and computation of optical flow or low level operations. Edge deduction. In image processing, an edge of the image can be defined as the connected pictures that form a boundary between two disjoint regions. Right here, edges are maybe straight lines or curves in the image which are significant local changes of intensity in the digital image. Okay, from the image you can see uh, significant changes in the light intensity, right? There are three types of edges, horizontal edge, vertical edge and diagonal edges. Here, the edge outlines the image correspond to important scene outlines, right? Here, uh, we are having three different examples, one, two and three, three examples there. So, from this, the first one is depth discontinuity depth discontinuity okay this is the first one depth discontinuity is here different types of depth there in all the images and second one is surface normal discontinuities so this is the surface here and here okay so the surface normal discontinuities so here the surface seems will not be normal right and third one is reflectance discontinuity so, this is the third one, reflectance discontinuity and fourth one is illumination discontinuity. See, this is the fourth one. So, the illumination discontinuity will form the shadows, right? Here, the edge detection is concerned only with the images. It is not concerned with the scene, entire scene, okay? In the edge detection algorithm, this is the uh, first image, which this will give input input to our edge deduction algorithm and we will get B image, this image. Okay, here we extract only the edges of this image. There is a difference between the output of edge deduction algorithm as well as a normal line drawing algorithm. Here some gaps may appear in our output and there are some nice edges also may appear. And these errors may be rectified the later stages of image processing operations. To overcome this noise, we can use Gaussian probability distribution. 
here uh, it smooth an image to assign each pixel the average of its neighbor and this method is called as gaussian filtering and this is used to cancel out extreme values right extreme values in the edges and this gaussian filtering is used to blur image and remove noise and details texture uh, in image processing the texture is defined as the variation of brightness intensity of the pixels right here the texture is uh, used to, to define objects or concept of given image okay objects or concept of given image here texture is nothing but the repeating pattern on the surface of the image that can be sensed visually okay so this is called as texture uh, here uh, we are having different types of textures uh, regular near regular irregular near stochastic and stochastic so these are different types of textures we are having in an image the texture makes the multi multi pixel patches multi pixel patches right see a uniform texture will be there okay in our image so this is one texture okay in such a patch this patch uh, we would compute the patches by orientation at each pixel and then the characterize the patch okay so orientation and characterized by the histogram of orientation okay how the patch that is will be repeated in what pattern will get repeated right and the texture of bricks so the first image would have two peaks the first one is horizontal and second one is vertical so two peaks are there and when come to the spot in a leopard skin this is the second one it is having more uniform distribution of orientation two images of uh, same texture of wrinkled rice paper is given here this is the first one and this is the second one with different illumination levels so this is the brighter one and this is the darker one here the gradient vector field is spotted on top of each one so gradient vector will be spotted here at this image and as the light gets darker all the gradient vectors get shorter right See, light gets darker the gradient vectors get shorter and the vector do not rotate so that the gradient orientation do not change in the images of textured object the edge deduction operation will not work well and it does not smooth the objects also this is because the most important edges can be lost among the textured element because the same pattern will be repeated throughout the images isn't it so uh, let us take the example of a tiger in the grassland and here if we do edge deduction definitely we will miss out the tiger the solution is to look for difference in texture properties just the way to look difference in the brightness so based on the brightness only we can differentiate the tiger as well as the grass okay here the patches on a tiger and the patches on grassy background will have very different orientation histogram because of brightness okay allowing us to find boundary curves between them optical flow optical flow is a technique used to describe image motion image motion is nothing but the video isn't it so the image is moving inside the frame one image is moving inside the frame isn't it how, how it will taken from video frames that means a series of images that have small time step between them right so this is called as video and optical flow calculates the velocity of points within the images okay and it provides the estimation of where the point could be in the next image sequence that is initially the object is here in the next image sequence where the object will observe okay this may be moved here this may be next frame this will be moved like this right when an object in video is moving okay 
when an object in the video is moving or the camera is moving related to object okay then the resulting movement will be computed by using the optical flow right uh, the optical flow is very much helpful to encode the useful information from the scene right uh, first one it describes the direction and speed of motion the direction and speed of motion uh, this is one of the feature from the image isn't it so which direction the object is moving and what speed the object is moving so both the things we can extract from the image and for example we can take a video of race car okay so from the video we have to measure only pixels per second not miles per hour okay so that we can easily uh, compute the speed of that particular car from the video and the video scenery taken from moving train okay so in the moving train the distant object uh, seems very slower when compared to the close object so the close object see from the train the track is the very much closer when compared to the trees isn't it so the tracks will move fast when compared to the trees right so the rate of uh, motion can tell us something about the distance so from this we can measure the distance between the objects in the video and it will also used to, to compute uh, the uh, action which action is performing okay so it is enabled to recognize action also it is helpful to capture the movement direction of object in a video right by using the direction of arrows here two frames of video sequence this is the first frame this is the second frame see from these two video frames the optical flow uh, is taken from these two this is the third one okay here the displacement from one frame to another is captured right so uh, here the movement of tennis racket the movement of tennis racket the movement is like this okay the arrow is moving in this direction and the front leg the front leg movement is see this direction the arrows are in this direction okay see this is captured by the direction of arrows okay so by using this direction of arrows, arrows we can compute the movement of that particular object direction segmentation of images segmentation is nothing but breaking the image into regions of small pixels so this is called as segmentation here each image pixel can be associated with certain visual properties right the visual properties may be uh, the brightness color and texture so accordingly the image will be segmented right the, the variation of attributes uh, will be very little within the object or single part of object okay but when come to uh, inter object boundary the variation will be very large so that we can easily identify the objects in the images right and there are two approaches in the segmentation first one is detecting boundaries of these regions and second one is detecting regions themselves okay here um, this is the original image so in the original image tree and sky are there two objects there so when come to tree uh, the texture will be changed but the variation will be very little here see when come to here the variation of tree will be very less but when come to sky the color and texture is completely different so by using this we can identify which one is tree which one is sky the next one is clustering the graph partitioning problem explains the cluster it clusters the pixels into regions based on their brightness color and texture so inside the image based on the brightness color and image the the regions will be clustered the regions will be clustered out right here the node of the graph explains the picture and the edges means the connection between the pixels and the next one is weight weight on the edge okay which connecting two pixels the edge will connecting two pixels okay this is weight which is based on 
how similar two pictures in terms of brightness, color and texture, right. Here the partitioning of graph is the first one is maximize sorry minimize the sum of weight, minimize the sum of weight of connections across the group of pictures and maximize the sum of weight of connections within the group. So, within the group uh, the pixel brightness colors will be within the group maximize, relations are maximize and across the group the relation will be minimum, ok. Accordingly the clustering will be taken place. So far we have seen the early image processing operations from fourth unit perception. So, four operations we have seen in this class, first one is edge deduction, texture, optical flow and segmentation. In the next class we will see another important topic from fourth unit and for more information please go through a textbook. Thank you.